want you to grow up to be like me. Tyrese Gibson is a father trying to protect his son during the worst night ever in the thriller, 1992. Let's take a look at the film's action-packed ending. Gibson plays Mercer, who works at a catalytic converter factory. It's a highly secured facility because it stores millions of dollars in platinum metal. On the night of the Rodney King trial verdict in 1992, Mercer's Los Angeles neighborhood goes up in flames as riots break out. To protect his son Antoine, Mercer plans to take him to his job, where they will be safe. That turns out to be a terrible idea, because a thief named Lowell, played by Ray Liotta in his final role, is using the riots as a cover to rob the factory of the platinum. Joining him on the heist are his sons Riggin, played by Scott Eastwood, and Dennis, played by Dylan Arnold. Lowell is cold and cruel to his sons, but they go along just for the money. The film's ending finds Mercer and Antoine arriving at his job, safe from the riots. They arrive just as Lowell's team is stealing the company's platinum. Antoine stumbles across the thieves and they take him captive. In another part of the factory, Mercer encounters Riggin and overpowers him. He ties him up and demands they free his son. Riggin is unaware his father has Antoine and promises Mercer they won't hurt him. To gain leverage, Mercer takes a crucial piece of the engine from the thieves' getaway van so they can't leave. He gets into a fight with one of the robbers and kills him, which infuriates Lowell, and he kills one of his own men in frustration. That turns out to be Riggin's best friend, Copeland. Lowell threatens to kill Antoine if Mercer doesn't give him the engine piece they need to leave. Things take an unexpected twist when Riggin, upset that his father killed his friend, betrays him to help Mercer escape with his son. Mercer and Riggin confront Lowell, and a gunfight breaks out. Riggin's brother Dennis is shot, and they jump in the getaway van with Mercer and Antoine, who have managed to start it, and they all leave the factory together. Lowell takes Mercer's car and gives chase in a rolling gun battle through Los Angeles. Dennis dies from his wounds and Mercer's van crashes. Lowell pulls up on the wreck and kills Riggin for his betrayal. Before Lowell can shoot Mercer, Antoine grabs a gun and shoots Lowell. With the thieves all dead, Mercer and Antoine head home, having survived the night. And that's our breakdown of the ending for 1992. Thanks for watching.